So today we'll be taking a look at how to create multiple outputs in Steven Slate drums in Logic Pro. I have a whole playlist of multiple outputs, how to set them up for different instruments, synthesizer V, sample tech, mono drums, contact eight, battery, and a bunch of other ones. Check out the playlist if you're interested in figuring out those as well. But let's get into the Steven Slate drums. Let's check it out. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do here is open up the Steven Slate drum player and stereo or multiple output mode here which in this case, it has 16 stereo outputs. I am still using the demo version of Steven Slate Drums, but it comes with a nice amount of kits and settings and stuff like that. Right here on the mix page, so we have the drums, blah, 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 the mix page. But we're gonna come back to this in a second. I'm gonna close that out. I'm gonna open the mixer up in Logic, and I'm gonna click on this little plus button on the Steven Slate Drum channel here. We're just gonna open up that, all the different channels, auxiliaries, and then I'm gonna highlight the instrument channel plus all those auxiliary channels with a shift and hold down. And then I'm gonna come somewhere in the mixer and I'm gonna right click right about there, create track, we're gonna click on that. And then we'll close the mixer here for a second. And what that does is it creates all of those auxiliaries in the arrange window. So now I'm gonna select the instrument, the Steven Slate drums channel and all the auxiliaries. It's gonna hit shift and drag down. And I'm gonna hit command shift D, create a summing stack of all those. And now we have our Steven Slate drums here. We can label them, whatever we wanna do. However, we still have another thing we gotta do here. We're gonna go into the instrument, to the mixer page on the Steven Slate drums. And we wanna change these outputs down here. So the kick is on one right now, so we'll just leave it there. We'll go through here, two, three. Um, now, of course, this is kick in and kick out. If you wanna group them together, you can do that as well. But I'm gonna go through here and just do every one separately. So we have the exact mixer match on and Logic. So I did all that and we have all the individual drums, the overheads, the room, room B. So now we got this beat here and we'll just play it. And then we have everything separated in our mixer. And we can do whatever we want with it at that point. We have our room, we have our room mics and stuff over here. And of course, we can make these look all official by putting the drum icons on there and stuff like that. I'm not gonna do that right now in the video. And then we can save this patch down here. And then we have the Steven Slate output drums all set to go. I would create it, make it look a little nicer, label everything, kick, snare, and all that stuff. And the good news is when we change our drum kits, our mapping stays the same because some plugins don't do that. The whole mix thing changes here. So if we change it to this kit, our mixer is gonna stay the same. So there you go. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Check out my other videos floating around in the video here. If you're watching on YouTube, other platforms, check in the links in the description. That is all for now. I will talk to you soon.